angel who will rule tidings to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to know the glory of his resurrection, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name Amen. In the name of the Lord, 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 the Great was the host for the Hulum, quarantine police, quarantine trees in Chedu, no free men in Tus. And with the Lucian to the Veritat in Tum, you see when the Dulce wrote the Dulce and all the Mountain Sanctum to a Tua, eighteen to a Bulatari day, and they will be given you in Tugum. Copy the book he been cheated that day was there, smiled, spread three stare mamma, and quarantine to a smile. Spare and the corner at the table in, salutary boot to smile, a Deus mess. Gloria Patri, Fidio, et Spiritui Santo, Sico de Arto Principio, et Nunc et Semper. Et in secula seculorum. Amen. In tuoi volatari Dei, et Dei glitifica vium in tutum meum. Audi formi nostri nomine Domini, qui feci cenum et terra. Confiti od omnipotenti, via di Maria te Virgine, via di Maria te Dani, tu via di Maria Pite, e tanti vostri petto, e tu via di Maria Maria di Dani, come tu sanci tu di Padre, qui ebbe Domini, mi sposi l'azione, e vemo e tocca, e me occulpa, e me occulpa, e me a massima occulpa. E io prego, beata madre, amte de Virgine, e beata mi tane, ma tanti, come beata mi vado a Pite, Confiti o Dei Omnipotenti, Beate Maria Sempre Vigili, Beate Megalia Arcangelo, Beate Giovanni Battista, Sancti Sofossili Spetri ut Paolo, Omnibus Sancti, Settivi Patre, Qui ebbe Cavinini Scogitazione, Vevo et Opere, Meo Culpa, Meo Culpa, Meo Maxima Culpa, Ed io prego e atam Mariam Sempre Vigili, Beate Megalia Arcangelo, Beate Giovanni Battista, Sancti Sofossili Spetri ut Paolo, Omne Sancto se te pate, ora ricomè, a Domino Deo nostro. Miseriato vesci, di potenzius, di sus peccatis vesci, di spedute a vos et vita metana. Amen. Lugenzia me sussione, me permissione, me tutorum ostorum, qui vivo ad nome sono di potenza e misericordonis. Amen. Deus tu converse e spettificà vis nos, e plebs tu letà abitore in te. Vos te di nomis Domino, misericordia am tua, et salutare tu un per noi. Domine exaudi ad Sione meam, e clamo meus a te Deo. Dominus fobiscum, et cum spirito tuo, orlemus. Stati dai Dominus testamentum pacis e principe feci Deo, unsiti di sacerdozi e di imitazioni dei tremum. Memento Domine David et Omnis Mansuitudini Senis. Gloria Patria Filio et Spiritui Santo, Sico de Latin Principio et Nunc et Semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Stati dai Dominus Testamentum Pacis et Principem Feci Deum, Uzi di Sacerdoti in Dignitas in Eterno. Idia Eisen, Idia Eisen, Idia Eisen, Fisa Eisen, Fisa Eisen, Fisa Eisen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax ominibus bone voluntatis, laudamus te, meridicimus te, adorlamus te, glorificamus te, crasitaginus ibi proptem amum gloriam tuam. Domine Deus rex celestis, Deus Pater omnipotens, Domine Filio Unigenita Iesu Christe, 
Lamine Dei us anus Dei filius patris, vitalis peccatum mundi miserere nobis, vitalis peccatum mundi suscipe deprecationem nostram, miseris et extram patris miserere nobis. Gloriam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus Iesu Christe, cum sanctus spiritu in gloria Dei patris. Amen. In pace vobis et cum spirito tu, orde vos. In fermitatem nostrem respice omnipotens Deus, et qui a fondus populi actionis gravat, veatis semeonis martiris tui actue pontifici se tecessio gloriose nos codegat, per Domenum nostrum, iais in Christum filium tu, et es in vivida regno a finalitatis Spiritus Santi Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Orde Deus. Acum quis nos praesimus non rimentis e cooperis defende periculis, et intercedente beati gloriose sempre Virgine et Egeretrice Maria, cum beatu Iosef beatis apostis tuis Petrus, Paolo et quae beatis put mani tui fili et omnibus sanctis. Salutem tribuem nobis tribu e venimus e pacem. Ut distruxis et se salsibus et tutoribus universis e clesi tui securit e visevi et evitatem. Ecclesia tu et quaesimus nonne precis peccatus ad mite, ut istruxis ad versis asibus et erroribus universis, et curitibis evi et evitatem. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesu Christum filium tu, qui te et in più da regna ad inaritatis Spiritus Sancti Deus, per Romnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lexi fissori viazzi Iacobi Apostoli, carissimi, peccatus vir, qui sur pretent actionem, Quoniam comprobatus fuveri, decifi et corona nobitae, quam reformisi Deus diligenti bus de. Nemo cum tentatur dicat quoniam a Deo tentatur, Deus enim in tentatur melorum est, ipse gautem neminem tentat. Unum squisque vero tentatur e concupiscientia sua abstractus et electus, reinde concupiscientia conciuperi, conceperit palit peccatum. Peccatum vero cum consumatum fuerit, generat mortem. Non dite et aque erarle, fratres mei delicissimi, omne datum optimum et omne donum perfectum de susum est, descendent a pati luminum, adutque non est transmutatio, nec vicissifultinis omnum gratio. Voluntarie et ingenue nos verbo veritatis, ut simis imitium adi col creatore eus. Deo gratia. In veni David servo meo moleo santo meo unsie, o manus enim meo serviabitur de et gratium meo concutatu Deum, nil propice nemicus ideo et filius iniquitatis non ocevi Deum. Desideri mani meo stribuisti et voluntati laviorri meo non fraudasti Deum, quoniam prevenissi eo benedizioni vus ucedimis, possibis in capite eus coronam de lapide prezios. Dominus Vobiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, sequentia Sancti Vangelii secundum Ducam. Gloria a Tibi Domini. In illo tempore dixit Iesus Turbis, si quis venit ad me, et non odit patrem suum et matrem, et uxorrem, et filios et fratres et surores, et cucautem et animam suam, non potest meus de esse discipulis. Et qui non vaio la crucem suam, et venit post me, non potest meus esse discipulis. Qui senem ex vobis volens turnim et vitare, non prius sedent cum putat juntus, qui necessarem isunt, si habeate perficiendum. Ne poste quam possuerit fundamentum, et non potuerit perficere omnes, qui videnti in cipia di luderi e dicentes, qui a chi como cebe delificare, et non potui consumare. Aut quis rex returus comitere venum et vesus alium regum, non sedens prius cogitant, si possit cum decem minibus occurrere e, qui con viginti minibus venit ad se. Alio qui in adultino longi agente, legatio limitens locateo, cae paci sunt. Sit ergo omnis ex vobis, qui non renunciat omnibus que possidet, non potes meus esse discipulus. Laus, tibi Christ.
this feast of Saint Simeon of Jerusalem, Bishop and Martyr. The epistle is taken from the epistle of Saint James the Apostle. Beloved, blessed is he who endures under trials. When he has proved his worth, he will win that crown of life which God has promised to those who love him. Nobody, when he finds himself tempted, should say, I have been tempted by God. God may threaten us with evil, but he does not himself tempt anyone. No, when a man is tempted, it is always because he is being drawn away by the lure of his own passions. When that has come about, passion conceives and gives birth to sin, and when sin has reached its full growth, it breeds death. Beloved brethren, do not deceive yourselves over this. Whatever gifts are worth having, whatever endowments are perfect of their kind, these come to us from above. They are sent down by the Father of all that gives light, with whom there can be no change, no swerving from his course. And it was his will <coughs> to give us birth through his true word, meaning us to be the first fruits, as it were, of all his creation. And the Holy Gospel today is a continuation of that according to St. Luke. At this time, Jesus said to the multitude, If any man comes to me without hating his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yes, and his own life too, he can be no disciple of mine. A man cannot be my disciple unless he takes up his own cross and follows after me. Consider, if one of you has a mind to build a tower, does he not first sit down and count the cost that must be paid if he is to have enough to finish it? Is he to lay the foundation and then find himself unable to complete the work so that all who see it will fall to mocking him and saying, Here is a man who began to build and could not finish his building? Or if a king is setting out to join battle with another king, does he not first sit down and deliberate whether with his army of 10,000 he can meet the onset of one who has 20,000? If he cannot, then, while the other is still at a distance, he dispatches envoys to ask for conditions of peace. And so it is with you. None of you can be my disciple if he does not take leave of all that he possesses. Ave Mire, grazie plena Dominus tecum, benedictum rieribus e benedictus fructus ventis tu, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nunc et nellari mutis nostre. Amen. Ave Vagite, Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Caris, my beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast mass, as we said, on this feast of Saint uh, Simeon of Jerusalem, bishop and martyr. He, the son of uh, Mary and Cleophas, Cleophas being the brother of St. Joseph, the stepfather of our Lord, making then Simeon uh, our Lord's cousin. He succeeded uh, St. James, also cousin of the Lord, as bishop of Jerusalem when, when St. James was beheaded under the order of Herod, the, fir uh, uh, the uh, first uh, of the uh, uh, apostles uh, to endure martyrdom. Then Simeon, being elected by the church in Jerusalem, uh, took his place and thus became uh, the second bishop of Jerusalem and uh, was so for four decades, not passing away until his martyrdom in 107 approximately AD during the reign of Trajan. He was uh, then uh, the uh, bishop during the destruction by, by the imperial forces of Aspasian uh, of Jerusalem and the temple in AD 70. He had fortuitously perhaps uh, but uh, he had taken the Christians, removed the Christians from Jerusalem uh, and evacuated them to the uh, city of Pella uh, during uh, that destruction while the Jewish resistance uh, fought against the imperial army. He outlived indeed uh, four uh, emperors uh, but uh, suffered uh, under Trajan. Uh, he, of course, uh, who was reigning emperor when St. John uh, at Ephesus passed away and when St. Ignatius of Antioch uh, lost his life to the lions in Rome. What we know of St. Simeon comes to us uh, from tradition, largely from the third book of the ecclesiastical history by St. Eusebius, bishop. 
We rely on Eusebius' uh, history for much of our understanding of the early church and has long been a trusted uh, source. Thus, we celebrate today one who was known to be a relative uh, of our Lord, to have been closely associated with the nascent and early church uh, in Jerusalem, and who gave his life in much the same way as others gave theirs for the sake of the kingdom of God, refusing to renounce, uh, to renounce Christ, uh, in his case before the proconsul Atticus. The Gospel today, of course, speaks to us uh, as Christians of uh, requiring us to forsake everything in this life in preference to God. Yesterday we began Septuagesima, we began the pre-Lenten season of Jesima, a time when we look at our lives as Christians and we begin to uh, think about uh, whether we need to work or improve our spiritual condition and our life as Christians generally. The admonition from the Gospel is clear and our Lord said it not just here in Luke but in the other Gospels too. That nothing of course is to be preferred or prioritised before God. That God must be first in all things. This my brothers and sisters is how we fulfil the first commandment. As our Lord says, the first and greatest commandment, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. The first commandment, too, of the Decalogue, of course, of the Ten Commandments given to Moses. We are bid by the Lord to have no other idols, to worship no other gods, but only the one true God, the God who, as St John tells us, is love. And so the economy of the divine charity commands us to love God first in order that we may then be able to truly love others as he loves us. This, of course, reflected in, again by St John in that commandment given to the disciples. Love one another as I have loved you, for by this will the world know that you are my disciples if you have love one for another. And elsewhere again, of course, St John records, God is love and they that live in love live in God and God lives in them. Summarising completely the nature and purpose of our lives as Christians. Not just simply to love God, but indeed to become God's love, its very self, for one another. And in this wise then there can be no room for conflicting priorities. There can be no room for other draws or attentions or distractions on our time, on our energy, on our minds, of our hearts. The Gospel admonition here is clear that the Christian, one who would be a disciple of Jesus Christ, must prefer God in all things. Of course, it is not ultimately necessary, generally, to forsake one's mother and father, one's wife or husband, one's uh, children or one's lands if one loves God as one ought to love God one will love all of those too what the admonition is about however is not suggesting uh, that one's parents or one's spouse or one's children or one's property should hold greater affection in one's heart than God. So that wherever there needs to be a choice made, it should always be God that comes first, 
always God who wins out. Which means God's will, God's purpose, God's law is always to be, to be preferred before our own or those of others. To do this is indeed to love God first and foremost above all other things. Our Lord elsewhere, of course, goes on to say that one who should be, who would be a disciple must deny themselves too. Again, forsaking our own will and purpose for that of God's which requires us, living in love and in union with him, to discern his will and purpose for our lives and apply ourselves. Apply ourselves to his purpose and will for our lives. And ultimately, what is his will and his purpose for us? That we should become one with him, both in this life and in the next. And so it is true, as St John says in his epistle, that if God is love, they who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. And this, my brothers and sisters, should be reflected in our lives as Christians. We should prefer nothing first before the duties and responsibilities we have as Christians, as children of God, to God himself. In a practical way, this means pursuing holiness. This means sanctifying our lives through prayer, praise and worship of him. That should always take the first should always be the first duty and call on our time as Christians. When we wake up in the morning, it should be God whom we speak to first, before all others. When we rise in the morning, we should get on our knees and pray, giving thanks to God for the gift of life and another day in which to serve him in which to grow in holiness, in which to grow in knowledge and understanding of him, in preparation for us becoming one with him. And throughout our day, we should sanctify it with special prayers and intentions, seeking his counsel, his wisdom, his guidance in all our actions, in all our deeds, in all our words. including him in our deliberations, in our thinking, sharing with him our anxieties and our worries, but also too our joy, our thanksgiving. In our plans and in our hopes. In the lives of those whom we love and hold dear. In everything we do, we should seek to glorify him by dedicating every task to his glory. And whilst performing that task, intending that it should be itself an act of prayer and praise and worship. Any task, every task, however menial, can give glory to God. Ora et labora, prayer and work, as the religious for centuries have demonstrated to us, can go naturally hand in hand to practice and to live in holy fear, to be always ourselves aware that we are in God's presence. There is 
nowhere where he is not. So he is with us at all times and in all places. giving us the opportunity to serve him, to know him, to love him, to be with him in every moment of our lives. This, my brothers and sisters, is what it means to put God first. This is what it means to live in love and in union with him. And this is what we should be striving for. This is what we should be thinking about in this Jessima season. To see in what ways we may need to more perfectly hone and discipline and shape and conform and convert ourselves and our lives to this pattern of holy living with God. As we celebrate with joy and thanksgiving the witness and holiness of St. Simeon, a relative of our Saviour, we might recall that we ourselves too have been made such by virtue of our baptism, by the receipt of our salvation, who have become children of God, co-inheritors together of the kingdom of God, promised to his Son, our friend, our brother in Jesus Christ. Let us then seek to emulate the example of Holy Simeon presented to us today, to remain faithful and thoughtful and in love with God, through all the trials and tribulations of this life, knowing that they are nothing compared to the joy and the hope and the peace that all eternity will be with the God who is love, Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Amen. Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spirito Tu. Arle. Veritas med misericordia me cum ipso, et in nomine meo esot habitur colu eus.
Suaviscum, et cum spirito tu, sosum corda, habemus et dominum, gratius et gabus, domino Deo nostro, dignum et iusum, et iste vere, dignum et iusum, et tecum et salutari, nos tibi sempre et ubique, gratius et agere, domine, sancte pate, non nipotenza eterna et eus, et Christum dominum nostrum, pecum et statum tuum laudum da angeli adorando, omne azionis premut potestates, cioè e cioè un quei beatis est, Ceri ciarunque vetute te beati serve fim soci su fezioni con celibran, con cui vos e nostri svolci suti mi ti ubeste peccamu, subici confessione, dice. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus, Sabeata, plenis un celi et terra gloria tua, Osanna in excelsis. Benedictus qui vedit in nomine Domini, Osanna in excelsis.
this club if they just told him to. Mia secula seculorum. Amen. Orde, sprege di salutaribus mali di divina solutione formati. Ade vos dice. Ade nostri e quies in cei di santi di cei tu nomon tuum, men vene ad eum tuum te polontas tua, si put in cielo et in terra. Ade nostri quotidian de nobis folie, dimite nobis debita nostra, si put in nostri mitimus debitoribus nostris, e de nostri vocati in tendenzia. Se libera nossa mala. Erro mia secula seculorum. Amen. Alte Domini sit sempre vobiscum. Et in spirito tu. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tale peccato mundi. Domine, non sum dignus ut in resu tectum meum, se tentum dec verbo et sen navi dur anima mea. Domine, non sum dignus ut in resu tectum meum, se tentum dec verbo et sen navi dur anima mea. Domine, non sum dignus ut in resu tectum meum, se tentum dec verbo et sen navi dur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online and unable therefore to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion.
My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the blessed sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee.
Dominus Vobiscum et cum Spirito Tu. Or de Deus. Refecti fatici vaxioni mundri sacri Christus Domine Deus nostre, ut cuius es equi morcultum intercedente beatus semeone matiere tu atque pontifice, sensiamus effectum. Per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, mit eicum vivit a regna ad unenetati spiritus sancti Dei, per omnia secula seculorum. Ad, orde Deus, unde del mundio nos Christ mus Domine divini sacramenti munus oblacum et intercedente beater virgine et genetrice Maria, Com beatu Iosef, beatis apostoli tui spetur, paule tuae beatis, cut mani tui fili et omnibus sanctis. A punctis nos regete per fessassi sibus ex beatos, et per fessassi bus ex beatitas. Caes mus Domine Deus nostre, ut quas te vine tribuis patici fazioni cadere, cum manis non sinas e vecere pedicolis, per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vive da regno ad unenitati spiritus sancti Deus, Per nomnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum, et cum spirito tuo, ite misa est, Deo gratia. In nome Domini Benedictum, ex omnum codusque, et secula, auditorum nostrum, in nome de Domini, qui feci celum et terra, Benedicat vos, Omnipotent Deus. Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum et cum Spirito Tuo, initium Sancti Evangelii, secundum Iovanem, Gloria Tibi Dami. In principio, et verbum, et verbum, et ad Deum, et Deus, et verbum, hoc erat in principio ad Deum, omni prim sum factus sum de sine, et so factum est nihil go factum est. In iso vita erat, in vita erat, lux hautem, in lux eternum, et lute, et eternum, et non comprehenderum. Ue tomo missus ad Deum, cone vero ratio anne, si verete testimoni, u testimoni, beberet ad lumen, et omnes credo in primum. Noni reteri lux, et u testimoni, beberet ad lumen, erat lux vero, qua lumen, et omnem hominem, venientem, et non comprum. E mundo erato, e mundus prim sum factus est, e mundus non cum novi, de propria veritis sum novi ceperum. Qual quod autem ceperum, deum despore sacrum filio se fieri che esquit venti nomine eus. Qui non es sanguinibus, nec tunetati camis, nec tunetati viris, ed ex veo nati sunt. Et verbum calvro factum eis, et abitavit in novis et vidimus gloria meus gloria in quasi unigenetia e parte, et tanum grazia e veritatis. Neo grazia. Blessed Lord is with thee, blessed thou art among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Now, Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed thou art among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Now, Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed thou art among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry for vanished children of Eve, to thee we set up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn, thou most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who art our refuge and our strength, look down in mercy on thy people who cry to thee and by the intercession of the glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and St. Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all thy saints. In mercy and goodness, hear our prayers for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Michael, our angel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all wicked spirits who wander through the world to the ruin of souls. Amen. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. May Saint Simeon of Jerusalem, Bishop and Martyr, 
pray for us. St. Catherine of Stenning, pray for us. St. Wilfred of York, pray for us. St. Richard of Chichester, pray for us. St. Louisa of Alfriston, pray for us. St. Winnebold of Utrecht, pray for us. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Our Holy Guardian Angels, pray for us. Our Heavenly Patron Saints, pray for us. Our Lady Queen of Heaven, all the angels and saints, pray for us.